Hello, 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 and welcome, welcome back to uh, Persona Free Reload. I don't know what's wrong with my brain. It doesn't function well. But there is nothing new under the sun, I guess. Last time, Daddy Dilf died. <laughs> Ryoshi's dad is dead. Everybody I love is dead. <laughs> and this is unfortunate. Very. I still blame Ken for all my sh issues in life. Don't look at me like that. Children, I swear. And this time we're going to meet Ryoji, our favorite character. That there is absolutely nothing shady. What do you mean, audio weird? What's wrong with audio? Anyways, while Mod is fixing audio, we will uh, do continue playing the game. Uh, we need... Are we missing a website again? Ninja fan site. Uh, did we buy it? Okay, no, wrong place. A wrong location. I swear we need to kill more, more shadows because uh, I'm gonna go broke. Also, what is this darknet bullshit? <laughs> like me and the bad is chilling in the dome and I am going into those very sus websites. And nobody is questioning it. Revenge side note. Ambush has been enhanced, the amount of time needed to dash before being able to ambush has been decreased. Ooh. <laughs> We're gonna fuck some people up. Hell yeah! Welcome! As I'm sure you are aware, you are currently in a dream. Yeah, I had a hunch. There has been a change in you recently. Have you noticed? I mean, my friend's father is dead, and the man I had a crush on is dead, and uh, uh, the child that was in uh, bothering me uh, is has disappeared. I don't know if he's dead. Uh, the fine change. Pretty sure. I do not speak of your change in circumstances. Okay, I refer good. to the change you. in your mentality. <coughs> Define it that by banging on the bitches. I summoned you here tonight. Going forward, there is one thing you mustn't forget. Mm -hmm. Ooh. The paper I signed at the dome is lying before ego. You do recognize it. I can see that. Shall I remind you of your commitment? I... There is no need to worry. No matter which path you choose, I shall respect your decision. However, you alone must bear the responsibility for your actions. No matter what sort of end they may bring about. Oh, yeah, this part. Please, do keep that in mind. I think what we will well, do when we we'll reach the ending, I we will do a separate well. save file. Um, and we will do go for both endings. 
Yeah, Chiori. Like in one ending, we will do the bad ending, which I'm, I'm not gonna spoil it, but we're gonna sit and be very, very depressed. And in the other one, we will do the good ending, which is very long, more Tartarus, more things, and more sad. It's pretty much you choose your flavor of sad. Do you want short sad or long sad? Sorry about not being able to visit lately. A lot's been going on. <sighs> hey, what's wrong? So, you heard about Takai and Jin, huh? I was planning on telling you. I get that they were your friends, but we had to fight them. <sighs> huh? Is that not it? I was right. This fear. This pain. Uh, okay, Jinpei. go for it. In two years, what will you be doing? In two years? Uh, we right, right now know. we are in a cut. I haven't really thought about it. Why do you ask? I don't know the length of Oh, I almost forgot to mention. I noticed you stopped. You know, hurting yourself. Well, proud of you, Chidori. Huh? Oh, I guess. That's good. I mean, you have such beautiful hands. Oh, just kiss her already. Don't touch me. Oh, don't but, kiss oh, her. Don't. I'm sorry. Bad idea. I mean to... Abort mission. This is too painful. It used to be fun when you came to visit, but now it's different. We're sorry. Oh. Your friends may or may not may not be dead. Inside. I can't breathe. I can't take this anymore. What do you mean? I don't understand. Did I do something wrong? Tell me what it is. Junpei, don't come here anymore. <gasps> oh, she rejected you. But why? Junpei. <laughs> Plus, has ended for well, time to uh, be busy. You! You, lady! Marvelous! I'm looking for two. Here are my requests. Most excellent. Okay. My apop. I will await a report of success. Let's see what others. Okay. Very well. Let's go to school and get persimmon tree. Where is the school? I think it's near the gym hallway. The persimmon tree. No. Uh, this away? Kansai, huh? So even if I take the bus, it will cost around 10,000 yen. Uh, how many drinks could I get with 10,000 yen? Yeah, what's up? You like the drinks too, huh? Yeah, I too enjoy liquids in my mouth. But all of yours are normal drinks. That can't I only drink is so rare and awesome that everyone wants it sip. She doesn't seem interested in the drinks I can buy here. Next, I think we need to go to... Inari? Go to Inari. To get sushi, I think? The visitors left Inari sushi as an offering. Don't take the offering! <laughs> I pray the Inari Shrine. Do I pray? Let's go to school.
think I'm missing something. Like, I really think like I'm missing a quest or something. Good day. Here are my requests. How do I get Odin juice? Very well. Because I feel like I'm clearly missing something. But how, how do I uh, how do I buy it? I'm, I'm, wait, 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 wait. Uh... Mod, did you finish with the audio? Wait, 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 wait. I think we can buy this drink at the Port Island station. If I'm not mistaken. No, not this one. Uh, Iwatodai? Wrong Iwatodai. I totally know what I'm doing. I absolutely know what I'm doing. I can buy Kensei here, no? No, fuck. Uh... Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Odin juice. Okay, okay, so we need to, to have a prompt with this girl. I understand. And then we buy it at the field trip and then we give it to Elizabeth. Okay, I understand now. in your eyes it's please don't don't fierce. don't a far cry from please make it stop by all means very well okay first of all let's go and clean the restroom Scrub harder! Scrub harder! Uh... Hmm. Good day. Are you accepting a request? Let's hear the result. Oh. Maid outfit. Oh. Very well. 
Oh, wait, I bet it's for you, Kari. Yeah, it's for you, Kari. Oh, so let's see, can we get her something better? Sure. Uh, let's go to school. So Odo should be around here. No? How do I prompt a conversation with Mr. Odo? If I can't go into the faculty office. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's set it for a second. I have no idea how to do the Mr. Odo quest, or maybe I just don't understand the Mr. Odo quest. Uh, anyways, we need a temperance arcana, which we don't have. Mm, who do we get rid of? Oh, we have two hair fans. Uh, Floros, you are uh, demoted. Wait, wrong. Wrong. I'm making very weird decisions. Good day. Are you accepting a request? <laughs> very well. to the velvet room.
Register is overriding acceptable? I've completed registration. This is your progress so far. Please take is this acceptable? Also, I think we can make some more personas since we're level 59. Yeah, we finished after Mada. Uh, wait, let's see. Can we make this some? This is a special persona you desire. Well then. Ooh. We <laughs> New personas. Wise choice. Please choose what skills to inherit. It appears it will receive Wait. an immense amount of power. Ah, take the soul chain. It, appears it will receive. Well, well, well. Okay, next we have Trumpeteer and Daisoju. We need a specific Daisoju, I think. No? I don't remember. But we got Mot. Who doesn't like Mot? Uh, no, we have Zeodyne. Mudo boss boost. Ooh. Yeah, we'll remove this. Megidola. I'll take it. Trumpeteer. This persona is powerful. Oh, my God, you can make a very broken trumpeteer build. I just don't remember Please how. What skills to inherit? What do you wish to inherit? It seems no new powers have been bestowed upon you. Fuck it. It seems no new... So it begins. I'm gonna do them to death. And finally, Daisoju. This would be a wise choice. Please choose what skills to inherit. We'll take my It appears it will receive well then. Shall we begin? He looks friendly. High chance of light insta kill to all foes. Yeah, that's that's definitely better than hammer on. Hammer boost. Not bad, not bad. Wait, we still have a temperance on that side. Please choose. Yes, we have Suzaku. Very well. Uh, very good, very good, very, very, very good. Let's just organize our uh, moves. Finally, this guy. Hello. I'm gonna make sure that I'm not missing anything. Because I remember last time we maybe missed a persona or something. Welcome to the Velvet Room. This is your progress so far. Just wanna make sure we are not missing anything.
Does that persona catch your eye? 60 for the tower. Oh, okay, no, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Very well. We, we are doing fine. Okay, let's go and hang out with the French boy. Frenchy, I came to bother you. Listen well, I have come up with a great idea to get my uncle to appreciate Japan's charm. I will show him a kimono. When he sees it, uh, he will understand the beauty of Nihon. That's a great idea. Wait, with you in my corner, I have nothing to fear. The kimono is a Japanese treasure, full of culture and history. If I show it to my uncle... We really are babysitting a weeabo, huh? As for the design... It will be inspired by the mascot of Azuki Arai. Simple, but deep. I choose this design because, well... You have a crush on me? You are the one who took me there. Ah, same. The bear really seems to trust me. I feel like we're going closer. I can see everything clearly now. I shall hurry and make the kimono. I must sew. So like the wind. Go, Bebe. We believe in you, Bebe. I spent the day we walking with Bebe, then went back to the door. <coughs> I see you back. Oh, you're back. Looks like Mitsuo won't be coming back for a while. I would like to think that she'll be okay, but I'm not so sure about this time. Yeah, things are depressing now. Good day. Are you accepting a request? Of course. By all means. Very well. Where is the dog? Arf! Koromaru seems to be happy after eating his fill of dog food. Come to think of it, Elizabeth asked me to get a specific item for her. Oh. Looks like he thinks I'm hungry. Koromaru is giving me a meaningful stare, his eyes full of sympathy. We don't deserve him! We don't deserve Koromaru! <laughs> Gourmet dog food. I think he's trying to share his dog food with me. Maybe I should accept it. <laughs> I have no choice. Do it for Koromaru. Good day. Here are my requests. Let's hear the res. Boom. Oh. A bone. If I may. I will await a report. Let's see if uh, the bone Very is good well. for Koro. Yes. Oh yeah, no, he keeps the pumpkin mask. Uh, let's go and grab Ken's toys. I can. Oh, what are you reading there? Oh damn, Ken out in public? You're interested in shoes? Oh. Damn, Ken, what are you interested in there? In those random ass people? What is this magazine? I don't know if it says void or vivid. I think it's vivid. Never knew you're into uh, fashion magazines, Ken. Oh, hello, Badger Sun. Come to think of it, Elizabeth asked me to get a specific item for her. <gasps> what? A Featherman Ardol? Isn't that the prize you can win in the raffle? You have to buy buying 
packs of gummy gum. Why would you want one? You're already in high school. Uh, but I, I do have one. Uh, I'm not into it or anything. I just happen to have extra raffle tickets. I'm actually, I have a dupe of the same color so you can have it. Ah! Oh. <laughs> but please take good care of it. But wow, I didn't know you liked Phoenix Ranger Featherman art. Maybe we could watch it together sometime. We are kind of watching it together, Ken. Focus, Ken, focus! Think, child! Good day. Here are my. Let's hear the result. Oh, my. Sacrificial idol. Very well. A divine artifact that restores all HP upon death once per battle. I'll give it to Ken uh, for now. Uh, let's go and uh, use the internet uh, for uh, very non notorious reasons this time. Ambush has been enhanced after successfully attacking an enemy from behind. Your theurgy gauge will rise. That's very nice. We're just gonna be stuck in theurgy forever, huh? Let's get on with today's lesson. Uh, this Okay, let's go try our luck in the faculty room again I feel like I'm missing something Because it clearly says I need to go to the faculty room But why? Why do I need to go to the faculty room? Hmm. Hmm. The no, we don't want to fact anyone in the faculty room. I'm clearly missing a, a request from Elizabeth. I just don't know which request means I need to go to the faculty room every single day. Here are my requests. Do you see anything achievable? By all means, come to... I will await a report hunt. I'm just gonna take all the quests and eventually one of them will activate. Very well. Good day. Oh, uh, yes. Get, take my potato. Very well. Good day. Here are my requests. If I may... By all means. Very well. Okay, uh, let's go to the shrine. Can we just steal food from the shrine? Hey, you there. What's with the sudden look on your face? Did something bad happen? A boy your age should be happy and carefree. 
What you need is a good meal and some rest, and you'll feel better. Here, have some Inari sushi. Then some Inari sushi. You have to be optimistic. Your generation is Japan's future. I don't think I have much future, ma'am. Cheer up! Cheer up, emo boy! Cause that cheered up every emo boy! Good day. Here are my. Let's hear the res. Is that. You have. Very well. Okay, let's see if now we can go. To the faculty office. Why not? What am I? I'm clearly missing something. I just don't know what I'm missing. Am I too smart? What? Am I too smart? Am I too what? Clearly there is nobody here. Corridor? Gym hallway? I don't know. I'll find it. I'll eventually find what I'm missing. until I'll figure this out. in the hospital right now yeah well flowers are they in that case how about these ones here uh, let's see all right uh, one of those white flowers are you sure about that huh what is is that bad well she likes the color white so i figured i'm sure it will be fine as long as you have a reason Okay, let me wrap it up for you. Is it like white flowers mean something bad or something? I don't know. I think I'll pass. Sorry for the trouble. <laughs> Actually, white flowers are for funerals. Well, sorry for the pointless detour. Something wrong? It's just... Look, I don't really get it myself. You have a crush. You wanna go sit somewhere for a bit? I don't feel like standing around and talking. So, the girl I'm visiting, I think I made her upset. You did. I wanna tell her I'm sorry, but I don't even know what I did wrong. She told me not to come around anymore. So what am I supposed to do? Go see her anyway. I don't know. That's what you do if you're in my shoes? Oh, yeah. I'm sure you would be able to pull it off that way. Rude. It feels like I'm trapped in some kind of loop. You know? No matter how motivated I get it, it's getting me nowhere. In that way since I played baseball. Those hero moments? Or if I could just hit the ball. Man, I get so amped. Except I never once got to be the hero. Never it was clutch time. I always struck out. And I guess nothing's different now. You're great the way you are, Junpei. You truly are. Still, I just... Uh, never mind. Thanks, man. <sighs> Feels like I got a huge weight off my shoulders. Didn't think the day would come when I'd be talking to you about my problems, man. 
But I guess it's not really a secret that I got problems, huh? And besides, I kinda hate to admit it, but the answer you give is probably the right one. Yay, I'm useful! I'm losing my edge. I need something to get back in the groove. Let's get Katsudano and Katsu to wake us up. Oh, wait, do they even have Katsudano there? I mean, it's called Wakatsu. Jupe didn't buy the white flowers he picked out. I wonder if he's going to skip visiting the hospital. Hey! You zoning out over there? Always. Jupe and I stopped by Wakatsu on our way home. I feel like my epidemics have improved after eating a healthy meal. Let's take out the dog. Oh, hey. Uh, That's right. you want we have some nuts if you want. We have some cookies. There are some schnapp cookies. Uh, we have apple. We have. I mean, the banana is in the freezer. And there are dates. Oh, hi, Badger. That's right. You walk your dog around this time. I'm just out for a light run. Felt like I needed a little more after club practice. Ugh, it's kind of chilly just standing around. Want to do some stair laps over there? Koromaru saved me. Oh, welcome back. You've got some pretty good form there. I should get back to my run. I'll see you later. Koromaru and I return to the dorm. Did you finish organizing the closet? Good job, honey. I'm proud of you. No, ignore, 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 ignore. Next, we're going to buy white flowers for Junpei. Because we're good like that. curiosity thing. Will he say something if he's around here? No, he doesn't. Uh, next, we're going to hang out with the dying ga guy. Right. No, wait, no, no. Okay, fuck, no. We're going to speed through it and then go back because I forgot to bring a persona with me. No, wait, get back, get back, I'm sorry, no, get back, get back, I forgot a persona, wait, no, wait, stop, 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 I, shut up, stop, sorry, Koromaru, uh, shy, 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 okay, So so terrible. Uh, flowers. Welcome. Take your. First of all, flowers. Please. Then uh, Elizabeth. Never feel like Good day. Wait. Very well. Do you have any quest that will make me trigger the? Huh. Very well. Okay, let's get ourselves a sun persona. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Regis is overriding acceptable. All registered. 
Now then, let's begin. Please take a look. Please, so you'll be summoning this one. May it be your inner strength. I'm getting a bit broke. We look and that's not a cute look for me. Nah. -uh. Uh, the things I can sell? Like my kidney or something? Hi, hello, I need money. What'd you bring? How many are you sure now? Alright. How many are you sure? Alright. I'll take that. How many? You're in a sure. It's a deal. Hmm? You could be seeing you. Okay, now we can go and hang out with him. Now I'm ready to hang out with him. Right. I never feel like missing you. I never knew I I've been writing more of my story. How much did I tell you about? Oh, right. The pink alligator and the bird became friends, right? This was the alligator's first friend, and he was very happy. They started going to the river every day, and the alligator would listen to the little birds sing. But the pink alligator still had trouble hunting because of his color. He That's was so racist, I think. To spot, no? And his prey always had plenty of time to escape. Eventually, he became so hungry that he grew dizzy. And one afternoon, he accidentally ate the bird as it slept in his mouth. Of course, he immediately realized what he'd done. He drank swamp water to vomit his friend back up. But he was too late. The bird was already dead. After that, he couldn't bring himself to eat anything. That's as far as I've written. I haven't decided on an ending yet. Uh, it sounds really depressing, mate. Oh, is it really that dark? For me, it's hard to tell. The words I use come from my own life. I don't really have a point of reference. But I see. So, this is depressing for others. Yeah, for the average person it no, will be depressing. When I mentioned I was writing a diary, that was a lie. I was writing my will. I couldn't face reality. And I was essentially screaming curses into my notebook. For now, though, I'm writing my story in the same notebook. It probably isn't very good, but it contains some things that I've learned during my short life. When it's done, I'd like you to be the first to read it. Meeting you is why I started writing it, you know? Oh, you're welcome. I've been trying to come up with a good ending, but I just can't decide. And I'm running out of time. I've got to go now, but I hope to see you again. I parted ways with Kamiki, then headed back to the door. Okay, let's give Junpei the flowers because we want to hit on him, I think. Hmm. Tomorrow I'll visit her for sure, but uh. I don't know what to say to her. If only, if only I had some kind of reason to see her. Huh? Hey, isn't this? Come on, let's have a little chat. Why do you have these flowers? You should give them to her. What the heck, dude? What's your deal? Or is this like a crush thing? Because this is too much love to handle. <laughs> yes, Junpei. It's finally time for a uh, persona to become gay again. Well, I don't hate you. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why you always have my back. Wait, our relationship is confirmed? Damn it. You really backed me into a corner here. You can't just not go now after all this. But well, thanks. Can we kiss? Take a page out of your book and finesse my way in. Except these flowers don't really make me look cool at all. 
Maybe I should come bursting in with the whole bouquet. I guess we made it work. Sure, whatever. I just wonder if this will uh, help me trigger the mm, the teacher. Damn it, mod! Now I'm peckish. It's the si we we ate very early lunch. All right, everyone. Today we have. It's Rio. Adventure time. Is this really our third one? Guess that makes it a hat trick. Go on, introduce yourself. Can I touch your hair? I'd appreciate it if you could show me the ropes. Hey, he's kind of cute. I was thinking the same thing. Hey, you look exactly like the child that would bother me at nights. It's nice to meet you. Sure, he's looking at me. He was living overseas for a long time due to his parents' work, and that means he might not be familiar with all of our customs. Be sure to give him a hand if there's something he doesn't understand. Thanks. Now then, you need a seat. Let's see. That one's open. Up front, second from the left. Oh, um, Miss Toriyumi, that seat's taken. You don't show up, you lose your seat. Have I not been clear about this? Life is just a game of musical chairs. Let that be a lesson to the rest of you. Oof. Uh huh. Hey there. I'm sorry. I didn't catch your name. You are dangerous. Dangerous? I haven't even asked you out to dinner yet. Dinner? <sighs> I guess, what's the matter? <laughs> uh, rejected right off the bat. You're one interesting girl. What the heck? Your teacher understands, I guess. You barely had time in the spotlight as the new kid, and now you have to share it. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Paying attention to me. Hey, is anyone even listening? No. We, we got the Ryoji. Those hands are for petting Ryoji. Those hands are to give our mortal possessions to Ryoji. Our, our, our hands are to give Ryoji the hugs and loves. We are, those hands are for protecting the Ryoji. your first day after transferring. I hope you like it here, Mochizuki-kun. Oh, I do. And please, call me Ryoji. Can I tell that's hey, something? Hey, do you have plans today? If not, maybe we can go somewhere for tea? Oh, Mochizuki-kun, sorry to interrupt, but could you stop by the faculty office? I'd like to give you a copy of the paperwork for your transfer. And let's see. Right, could you come along too? Thank Go you. ahead and take that home with you. That should just about do it. Thanks. Guess I'm done here then. See you tomorrow. See ya. Uh, uh, can I touch your, 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 your? Can I touch you? Could you two take these boxes over to the music room? Uh, all of them? Yes. You know where the music room is, right? I think the boxes are full of sheet music. They're really heavy, so be careful not to hurt yourselves. Hey, Fairoli, how you doing? She's on behalf of the music club, but I can't keep them here forever. That damn Ekota. I mean, how are you doing, my friend? Mr. Ekota has been talking my ear off, nagging me to get them out of here. 
Come on, we can't let the poor teacher carry all that herself. Let's help her out. Ooh, now that's what I like to hear, Mochizuki-kun. Why don't I bump both your composition Damn it, Mochizuki, up? leave some bitches to me as well. I wouldn't mind handling this by myself, but I did just transfer here. Freedom for both! <laughs> I think that's all of it. That was harder than I expected, but the teacher needed our help, right? I gotta say, though, you are stronger than you look, huh? Do you work out or something? I have extracurricular activities. Oh, are you on a sports team? Like baseball or soccer? I think there's a track team too. Actually, I beat the shit out of too, monsters. I guess they're not recruiting right but now. But it keeps the masses strong. Oh, that's right. Sniff him. Sniff him. Give him a sniff. This caught my eye when we walked in. Oh, is that the, the, the scene from Neon Genesis Gangangelion? I take it you're really into music. How about I play you a song to break the ice between us? Sound good? This is our gay storyline. Great. Here goes. Oh, look, my cloth has mysteriously disappeared. How was that? Any good? I thought if I impressed you, it might be a good way for us to hit it off. Yeah, sure, I'm into mean, it. There's so much that I'm not comfortable or familiar with yet. So, I want to keep learning and trying new things. I heard you transferred. Have you heard of an Eva? I wanna, I wanna be, I wanna, I, I want to introduce you the concept of Evas. What do you say? It's the moon gay from Neon Genesis Evangelion, yes. When we all love the moon gay from Neon Genesis Evangelion. We are uh, already friends. Now where are the benefits? <laughs> Thanks. It does somehow feel like we've known each other for a long time already. So, uh... Do you want to take a shower to together? Situation? Oh, right. I think we exchange phone numbers? Uh, sorry, I don't have my phone right now. Why don't you just give me your contact info? I'll note it down and get back to you later. Thanks. I'll be in touch. Looks like we still have some time before it gets dark. How about you show me around the school? Just whatever parts you're familiar with. Kitchen and is coming back today. How is she? Huh? I don't know. What should I even say to her? I wouldn't be surprised if she's not uh, up for talking, though. How do I hang out with the teacher? 
Rachel Bennett. <laughs> Anyways, we need a fortune arcana. Are you accepting a request? I'm so fucking Very confused. Well. Welcome to the Velvet Room. This is your progress so far. Be summoning this one. May it be your inner strength. Very well. We look. Okay, let's hang out with the child who doesn't want to be a doctor, but he's totally going to be a doctor. Um. Yeah. <sighs> the sketching of pencils echoed throughout the throughout room. Hey, sorry, but I need your advice again. Uh huh. Let's meet up after art club like we did the other day. Uh huh. We are going for a fool. Um, I will go and get for a fool. This, okay? I'm still torn on studying abroad. My dad's trying to make all my decisions for me. He chose the school I'd go to, the dorm I'd live in. He even bought my plane ticket already. And I haven't actually agreed to go through with it yet either. He's been like this ever since we argued about the art club. It's like he's suddenly trying to be more understanding. It's weird. Do you want to be a doctor? Well... Being a doctor is something I think about a lot. If I do end up studying abroad now and become an artist, there's no turning back, is there? Then I could never be a doctor. My teachers, my friends, and especially you. Everyone's been so supportive, and I know what you must be thinking. A chance to study abroad? What an opportunity! Sorry, it seems like all I ever do is complain to you. Mm -hmm. but I always feel a lot better after talking and to you. And you didn't even give me free food. What is this bullshit? Boo! 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 Now I don't even know what I really want to do. In times give like me this, food. I turn to the heavens. Food! I have to head to the bookstore. Food. You can go on without me. Give me food. Fortune-telling book and reading the whole thing in one night. Scott the was is a cunt. Welcome back. Yes. Where's the child? The child. Need to hang out with him. And don't take note of context, but I need to hang out with the child. See how this is going to be taken out of context whatsoever. So then I took it apart and put it somewhere. <laughs> I want to go to a bar called K Sara Sara. It's down this Mate, way. Mate, not only you are underage, I am underage. And I, I heard I might be able to buy what I'm looking for at the bar. Who is going to sell to us with children? Who knows? What's a kid doing here? 
Maybe it's drugs? Creepy. Question mark. Supposedly, it's only open at night. Let's check it out. Oh. So the plan okay. is, we throw Ken inside, lock the door, and run away. Down? <sighs> now there's little kids running around. Oh, it's become so wholesome here. Oh no, anything but wholesome. Hey, it's past your bedtime, little boy. Mommy's waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> His mom is dead, and so is mine. Ignore that. Thank you, but I'm all right. If I let it bother me, then it'll never go away. I just want to finish what I came here for. I'm still bothered that uh, Shinjiro is dead because of you. Kick him down the stairs. This looks like the place. The owner here is really particular about the taste of his drinks. They say he has ingredients you can't normally find. And for Ooh. one of the cocktails he makes, he uses an extremely rare tea leaf. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're looking for? Yes, I've seen Mitsuru-san drinking tea in the lounge. So when I was thinking of a gift that would make her happy, this is what came to mind. Booze! I hope <laughs> We're making her wine, mom, even before she is a mom or a of drinking age what is the drinking age in japan well he looked scary but at least he agreed to sell it to us in the end <laughs> boy i'm glad that worked out i can't wait to give this to mitsuru-san with everything that happened i'm sure she's been having a hard time it's sad and painful to be in a home knowing that you'll never see a loved one there with you again so i'm hoping this makes things more pleasant for her at least while she's at the dorm. Although, it is Mitsuru-san we're talking about. So, I'm sure she'll be fine. I just thought it would be nice if she was able to think about things over a delicious cup of tea. You're really kind. If only you didn't kill Shinjiro. Oh, no, it's just, she's always looking after me, so I thought I'd show my appreciation. When I think about what it was like for me, I feel like this is the least I can do. Well, uh, we should head back before it gets too late. <sighs> What's wrong? Nah, it's nothing. It's the location. It's the location. Thanks for joining me today, Senpai. We haven't really talked properly since what happened to Aragaki. So uh huh. I keep thinking about. The last thing he said to me. I have to. Where is my this. get well for gift? But how exactly do I do that? I wasn't sure where to start. But I've been trying all kinds of things. Things that the old me would have never considered. Like hanging out with my friends at school, reading manga, and even watching TV. I'm also trying to make an effort to talk to people in the dorm more. Mitsuru san helped me with my homework the other day. And I even beat Junpei-san in a video game. <laughs> That's not difficult, Ken, but good for you. I also with Yukari-san and the others, and Aiga-san helped me feed hamburger. I realized that little things like this can really make life enjoyable. Uh -huh. well, that's what I've learned so far. Invite me next time, so I can beat your ass in something. <laughs> of course. Let's go get ramen together again one of these days. It was so delicious the last time we had it. You know, I've noticed other people in the dorm talk about you a lot. Everyone what do they say about me? Everyone really happy when they do, too. The hard battles continue, but we're still able to keep going. I am and an asset! We all know when we come back, they'll always be there for us. That would be nice if it was true. Is that how you feel? Yeah. Yeah, I can't explain it very well, but I feel like you can see the real me. I want to be more like you, senpai. Okay, start by not killing uh, people's uh, husbandos. That's okay, right? Anyways, sorry that all took so long. The night air is getting chilly. Shall we go back home?
Okay, let's try our luck again with the faculty room. Eventually, we will manage to do this quest. I just don't know what we need to do to make it work. Fuck it, we're spending time with Scott the Walls again. this quick this room's smaller than my bedroom but it's still surprisingly big what how big is your bedroom let's take a break so I've decided that I'm going to study abroad to be honest I'm not really excited about it but I already told my teacher I don't want to be a doctor so <sighs> do you want something to drink it's on me yes free food Dying so also food. I almost forgot. Did you want something cold or maybe? Hey, look out! Is this how we die? Hang in there. Can you hear me? And the last thing I saw is called the was. Here's the thing. I feel like the universe doesn't want called the was to give me free shit. So the universe will literally kill me before this fucker gives me free food. <coughs> You're awake. Oh, thank goodness. Free food? I kept calling your name, but you wouldn't wake up, so I... My head is throbbing. I don't see any cuts on your head, so I don't think you'll need stitches. Can you remember your name? Uh, Neo? And you were talking to me about the Matrix? And for some reason I know Kung Fu now? Yeah, that's about right. I, I, I am Neo. I know Kung Fu. And you are Morpheus. Yes, you're Morpheus. Morpheus the was. I remember. I remember everything. I remember the free food that you didn't give me. Oh, that's wonderful to hear. Really, it's such a relief. Well, your pupils aren't dilated, so I don't think you have a concussion. Food. I was worried that when you fell, you hit your head or your face, and I... Free food. Anyway. Do you remember what happened? You promised me free food. The box. I was the one who put it up there. We have a maid who cleans our house. So Motherfucker. He offered myself. me the food and he tried to assassinate me because he thought I would say there. no. It's all my fault. I'm so sorry. Compensate me with free food. That was what would happen if you didn't wake up. I was so scared. I felt so helpless seeing my friend in trouble and not being able to do anything. I'm not a doctor. Do you think you want to be one? <sighs> when I was younger, my dad told me a sad story about how he lost a good friend. He just collapsed one day, even though they played together all the time. Seeing you lying there, I understood how my dad must have felt losing someone he was so close to. He really seems to care about me. I feel like we are becoming better friends. Sure, better friends! If it was me, our relationship would have been reversed by now. Do I want to be a doctor? But I'd be doing exactly what my dad wants. Uh, sorry, we should get going. Can you walk? Here, you can lean on me. Hiraga and I left school together. Oh, welcome back. 
Mitsuru is still not out. That's okay. We are going to read a book with I guess. Reminds me, I was reading this book during class once. One of our classmates saw and said to me, Wow, I'm surprised. So you're the type to talk with your fists. What exactly do I look like to everyone else? Look, I guess he just wanted you to fist him. But it, I'm proud of you for not doing it. You look like a normal high school student. I see. That must mean that I don't appear to be strong in other people's eyes. I am an anti-shadow weapon, but I don't seem to be regarded as such. Do you I want to be regarded as such? Once. If it is not addressed, it could negatively impact my ability to carry out my duties. Once I finish reading, I will start thinking of a solution. During combat, the mental states of both sides play a significant role in the outcome. I want my presence to strike fear in the hearts of my enemies, but galvanize my allies as well. What can I do to convey that kind of impression? Ideally, it would be something to encourage people to depend on me. Maybe I can find some tips in this book. Is enough reading for now. We should return to our rooms. If you insist. Let's try our luck again with the fucking faculty office. I swear this 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 quest will be the end of me. Uh, okay, let's go and hang out with Ryoji. Because Ryoji is the best social link. Look at his hair. Hey there. Um, it's nice to meet you. So, you said you needed to talk to me? Yeah, keep your hands off our girlfriends. All I've been hearing her talk about is Ryoji-kun. Yeah, you need to stop talking to every girl you see. Oh, um, sorry. I actually have no idea which girls you're talking about. There's been too many that have come up to me. Do you want to die? Is this a joke to you? I'm sorry if I offended you, but I haven't made any moves on anyone. I just invited them out for a bite to eat. That's exactly what we call making a move. That's a problem. I've made a promise to go out with them. I can't just cancel due to my inconvenience. C quit messing with us. Reggie could get in danger if this continues. I should probably intervene. Give me should I? I'm gonna delete all the contact info you have. Calm down. Who the hell are you? This is none of your business. Oh, I'm banging your girlfriends as well. You're taking his side? Hey, it's that guy from 2F. I heard he's friends with Sonata Senpai and the student council president. They live in the same dorm. What do we do? If he tells them, then... <laughs> Look, just stay the hell away from our girlfriends and delete them from your contacts. Got it? Uh, all right. I'll do it. Better watch out, or he'll steal your girlfriend, too. <sighs> Which one? I, I can I can share. For you. I believe in sharing. It's not your fault. No, considering how angry they were, 
I'd say I probably was at fault here. Right, from now on, I will ask if they have a boyfriend first before inviting them out. Do you want to be my boyfriend instead? We could be a very cute gay couple. Thanks for having my back. You're very kind. <sighs> what a great view. The ocean looks so beautiful. <sighs> I do like seeing it from the monorail to school each morning, but it looks so different from up here. Hmm. I wonder why those guys were so mad. If you're in a relationship with someone, that means you like each other, right? Yes. I don't think me getting in the picture would change that, would it? I wonder what it Ooh, means to like depends. Someone. Do you have someone like that? I have like 10. I have like 10. I... Can I just say it's complicated and call it a day? No, I want a date Ryoji. Where is the date Ryoji button? Oh, you don't, huh? I'm sure you'll find someone like that before long. I already did. I guess there's still a lot that I don't understand. Look at the world out there. The people in this city, our classmates in school, and you. I want to know more about all of it. All right, uh, since I dragged you into this mess today, let me make it up to you. I'll treat you to ramen. I just had some with Junpei-kun the other day. And while we're at it, maybe you can show me around town. I'd like to know what kind of places you like going to. Okay, first stop, my bedroom. We'll be such a cute couple, though. As you. Uh, we need to go to escape. To be a creep. Also, I noticed that earlier while Mod and I were fixing the audio, they actually added a moon chart to the to, to their board to know when the full moon is. Like I know that it's so not gonna be relevant, but like ah, it's so cool. Have you talked to Mochizuki-kun at all? A little bit. Oh. oh, yeah? You think maybe you could get along with him? He seems really uh, affectionate. Is that normal overseas? Hey there. Why, hello, Takeba-san. Oh, and good morning to you too, Barnaby-kun. Uh. Oh, uh, hey. Good morning, Moch Mochizuki-kun. <laughs> Please call me Ryoji. You see, since I transferred here at such an awkward time, I was hoping I could get to know every everyone better. Yeah. Oh, mate, I can't wait you for, get, for you to get to know me outside and inside. Oh, I see. I... it must suck having to transfer school so often. Yeah. Can't deny that. I should be used to it by now. But it's always hard to leave new friends. It's a little lonely, you know. So, how about giving me company for a little while, huh? Wanna go back quick bite sometime? She just walked away! <laughs> you can't wait! You can't wait up! <laughs> As usual, based you carry. What am I missing with this stupid faculty office? I hate it. 
Uh, we need a magician persona with us. Oh, we have one. We have uh, this weird horse guy. I really like its eyes, honestly, and it has a cool hair. But the rest is kind of creepy. I still remember in Shin Megami Tensei how those fuckers used to run after me. They run so creepy. Where are you? Another day, another bowl of ramen. Despite uh, its simple appearance, the soup has a complex flavor that's enhanced by the noodles. Damn, this really is some bomb ramen. I, I googled it and I didn't find shit about this quest. Miss Kano must be in So, like, if you want... I remember from Portable that, yes, you had to do some kind of an interaction before you could uh, do this quest, but I don't seem to be able to find this interaction. I am stealing your egg. Hey, dude, give that back. No. That egg's all I got in this world, man. Hand it over or else. My egg. We we'll chatted for a while. Man, it's always a blast hanging out with you. That said, I still want a girlfriend. Man, this is not how you find a girlfriend. Want me to find you a girl? Really? Who? Someone from your dorm? Sounds like I should be making more surprise visits. Please don't. Ah, no, 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 no. I I'm getting off track. You are. I've been doing some thinking after everything that went down. When Emmy relapsed, I was sad, sure, but on top of that, I felt really dumb. Did I really love Emmy, or did I just love the idea of dating a teacher? I thought about it a lot, but I couldn't figure it out. What I did figure out is you're a true friend. Are we still talking about love? Uh huh. And bookstore tree. No, we did the bookstore tree. We, this is how we got Bebe. Okay, well, I'll just play the game and hopefully I will figure out as shit goes on. We're talking about the heart, dude. Don't you feel it? Just shut up and feel it. Is this where we kiss? Anyway, here, take this. Your cock? Handmade choker. Oh! Ooh, this game is getting spicy! <laughs> oh, well, I... Uh, <laughs> I will wear it while thinking of you. Whatever your name is. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I forgot about your existence. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I will actually forget about this entire interaction as soon as I finish this social link. Which is right now, by the way. Figured you could pull it off. Your fashion sense is kind of uh, so. I wanted to help you out. I mean, that's what best friends do. Best right? friends don't give other friends a choker out of nowhere, a handmade choker out of nowhere. You know? Just saying. None of my best friends ever gave me a handmade choker for the shits and giggles. Mod, do you want to give me a handmade choker? Or would you like to use your hands as a handmade choker? <laughs> Wait, no, that's really nice. <laughs> no, that's actually really nice. You have some uh, space between your people. Okay, we are done with this fucker. I will never interact with him ever again. I worked up an appetite acting all weird around you. More eggs, please. Make it ten. Wait, I also want eggs. Why doesn't he give me his eggs? Oh, welcome back. Is it just me or does Junpei seem unhappy about something? He's been mumbling under his breath for the longest time. Do you think it's about Chidori-san? 
Well, it's probably best to let him be until uh, we know what's on his mind. Right? Yeah. So we are not going to bother him. We are going to finish rank 10. Uh, there you are. Finally found strength you. Strength socialing. Oh, you two want to talk. <gasps> hey, talk about. You hardly ever miss student council meetings. I've been looking all over for you. Did someone ask you to come find me? Well, yeah. I'm not a member or anything, but still. Ah, oh, well. Sorry about that. You've been pretty busy, huh? What with the class trip and all. It's for both second and third years, so I imagine you have your hands full, too. The class trip? Even if I did go, I'd only spoil the fun. Wait, you're not thinking of skipping the trip, are you? <sighs> you can't do that. That's not an option. Hmm? You know, I've been meaning to talk to you. About what? Well, honestly, you're not the easiest person to relate to, but I lost my dad too. And I know what that's like. Talk about. So I've decided I don't want our friendship to be over. I'm going to be more upfront with you from now on. <sighs> ah, there she is! <laughs> I've been looking everywhere for you. Huh? Ryoji kun? Why are you up here? Huh? Weren't you looking for Miss President, too? I was doing the same thing. Some guy asked me to find her. He said if I didn't, the class trip might get cancelled. Ugh, odagiri Kuhn. He'll hit up anyone in arm's reach for a favor. In any case, looks like I found you, Mitsuru Kirijo-san. And I have to say... You're quite stunning. Yoji, what the fuck are you doing, you idiot? I know this place on the top floor of a five-star hotel. The restaurant up there has a view of the city nightscape that's almost as breathtaking as you. He's gonna die. Nightscape? Senpai, you better head back to the meeting. Oh, right. Oof. I've seen chat for Yoji. <laughs> Thank you for coming to find me. For now, I'd better see to my duty. I mean, she's clearly into Yukari. Hey, she left without giving me an answer. For now, huh? I don't like the sound of that. Well, how about you, Yukari-san? Care to join me for dinner? I know this place on Shirakawa Boulevard. <laughs> oh. uh, based Yukari. She is so base, I love her. Okay, but we have a strength on us. Uh, uh, no. Hopefully we are not going to be dragged behind on this social link, right? 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 Okay, good. So we re we are really only behind on Akinari and welcome to the uh, Fuka, I think. Regist is overriding acceptable. I've completed registration. This is your progress so far. Siegfried. Take a look. So you'll be summoning this very well. Siegfried, you're back home, Siegfried. You finished. We need to sell some stuff. Uh, really out of money. And we need to buy quite a bit of stuff before this could begin. When is the next time we are going to Tartarus? Uh, 
Okay, we're going to Tartarus after the school trip. Well, time to sell some shit! <sighs> What'd you bring? Eh. Eh, how do I sell? I kinda like most of my stuff. You're in. Sure. I'm at your Alright, I'm at sure. sure. It's a deal. How many? You're handing that over? Sure. How many? Sure. It's a deal. How many? Sure now. All right. I'll take that. Hmm. How many? You're handing that. All right. I'll tell how many are you. You're handing. Sure. It's a deal. What other items do I have? Uh, we can how sell many? all of those. Sure. How many? Fine by me. How many? Sure now. All right. I'll take how many? Your hand. All right. How many are you selling? Sure now. All right. I'll take that. How many are you selling? Your hand. All right. I'll take that. Mm. What else can I sell? Do you want to keep those? How many are you? Sure now. All right. How many? No. How many? How many? Sure. sure. No, do you okay though? How many are you selling? Your hand. All right. I'll take that. How many? Your hand. Sure. It's a deal. How many are you? Sure. All right. I'll take. How many? You're sure. It's a deal. How many? Sure, sure. It's a deal. Hmm. How many are you standing? Sure. It's a deal. How many are you? Sure, sure. It's a deal. How many are you sure now? Sure. Okay, it should be good enough. Hopefully she is not going to give us some bullshittery uh, excuses to not finish her social link. Because I have a hunch justice is gonna be hard on us. mention during lunch break today that girl was trying to bother me again you remember right she's the one who put gum on my shoe locker well this time i told her what i thought right to her face good that she should find what she really wants to do in life exactly she probably didn't get what i was saying but obviously ever since i figured it out for myself i feel like i've been able to see the bigger picture good I mean, for you kind of used to be the same as her you know i guess i've learned how to empathize better now not to mention you did end up becoming my boyfriend so oh yeah we are in a relationship i forgot about it i guess i could have told you this next part at school but i wanted to talk some more quiet what is it D don't be so impatient i'm getting to that oh, why am i the one panicking now so you know the kids we coached they each left a message for us. Ah, they were kind of a handful. They also have an endearing side to them, don't you think? Yeah. Oh, you're so sweet. Sometimes I can't believe how open-minded you are. I think I need to learn from you. Here, this one's for you. Kids letter. The kids told me to give it to my boyfriend. <laughs> Aren't they cute? That's what I invited you here for. Uh, Only that? Well, okay, yeah, sure, I'm okay with it. That was just an excuse. Oh. Today, well, my parents are in Oh. Home. I see. So we are alone. So, um... I, I just mean, you can stretch out and relax. <laughs> we won't get yelled at for being too noisy. Ah. <laughs> uh. It's just... I was able to find my true calling thanks to you. I'm so glad I met you. Those are my true feelings. 
and I hope you feel the same. I completely so, forgot about your existence as soon as this uh, sentence was over. Yuko has expressed her love for me. Look at me getting them bitches without fucking up my social links. Love you. Good for you, mate. I should have a special evening with Yuko. Ah. Uh -huh, this is what you call it today. Okay. Anyways, for more important things, I'm going to read manga with oh, Junpei. I will join you at Tartarus tonight. I apologize for warning everyone. Our only priority now is to do something about Tartarus. I'll be cutting on you all again. Well, the school trip is next week, so that should be fun. But unfortunately, Amada and Koromar will have to stay here. No! Bring the dog! Oh, yeah. Who wants to bang a chick if you can read manga with your bestie? Man, our hero took an underdog baseball team that Girl didn't skit, have hello. the all the way to nationals. No matter how tough the rival or desperate the situation, the hero always ends up finding a way. Hey, we're technically a team too, aren't we? Means we need a hot shot of our own, right? You're on to something. <laughs> Don't sweat it. We've already got ourselves a major hot shot. Me, everyone else has got their own strengths. Kind of like the characters in a manga. Either way, kind of blows that real life can't be like how it is in a manga. Anywho, on to the next page. Oh yeah, that's right! Just before the big game, the hero collapses! All after getting everyone together, training like crazy, becoming a hot shot hitter, and carrying the whole team all by himself! I mean, you have the potential to do it, Junpei. We're just not there yet, I think. When is your girlfriend supposed to die? In like a few... In a few days? Next, yeah, huh? that's when you're gonna be very, very useful. No. Let's see, how much will the thing cost? Not bad? I mean, yeah, I can, I can afford it. Okay, next we need a star arcana with us. Do we have a star? No, who do we get rid of? Okay, we finished. Herophant, Emperor, Devil. I can get rid of the devil. Welcome to the Velvet Room. This is your progress so far. This so you'll be summoning this very well. It's yours. Very well. We look Hopefully we'll have enough money to survive the school trip. I hope. I get to eat such amazing food. Should I bring some home? 
If I do, I'd have to pay for it. Hmm. Do it. Yeah, I will. It feels wrong being the only one who gets to eat. Oh, you make it way, sound so ominous. My mom. She's gonna be out of the hospital soon. Good for you. I was finally getting the hang of taking care of everyone myself. I guess what else? My teammates offered to help me with the kids too. They even said to pick my sister up from preschool. I guess everyone's been worried about me. And there I was, total tunnel vision, trying to do everything on my own. In the end, maybe it was my fault the team couldn't work together. It sure was. <laughs> you really don't mince words, huh? Nah. -uh. I feel a lot better about everything now that I know how everyone really feels. I'm having fun just running laps. Body feels light as a feather now. Oops. Guess I kind of started rambling there. Sorry, but I gotta get going. Take it easy. And don't forget, I'm only able to focus on training again because you had my back. I feel great, so thanks, buddy. I also really spoke from the heart. I feel like we're getting closer. I guess we do. Later. I decided to go back to the dome. Priestess now, which we are a bit behind so, on. In this section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. I don't care. Uh, stay away. Whatever. Where is the priestess? So yeah, how fucked are we when it comes to the priestess? Yeah, we are very behind. So we need seven to eight. Do we have a priestess on us? No. Who do I get rid of? Oh, we have double hero fund. Okay, I'm going to have to sell more Very stuff. Well. We look mm. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. I'll just give them all the best uh, accessories I can give them. And hope for the best. I 
Take the magic talisman. Have the sash. Yeah, you can keep it. And Koromaru can keep this. Okay, we'll sell everything we have. I don't know if it's the right decision, but fuck it. We're broke. <sighs> what do you got? I'm a Because we're gonna need to buy lots of shit on this on the field trip. Okay, good enough. Come back soon. Uh, let's hang out with the Fuka. Try not uh, fuck a shit up. putting my thoughts in order i was so confused last time that i couldn't find the right words i've said before but i have a bad habit of thinking negatively like when i have a difficult time deciding on something but no one knows what the future holds no matter how much you prepare you can never really be sure what will happen so in situations like that i think the most important thing you can do is believe amen positively and trust that the future will smile upon you the thing is i'm not sure i can do that i don't understand how it comes so naturally to everyone else how are you able to tell yourself that things will work out in the end i believe in myself oh i see you really are strong I really admire that part of you. So, um, the reason I've been relying on you isn't just because you're our leader. It's because you're you. Oh, uh, okay. It needs to be you. I understand Fuka's heartfelt words. It seems we've gone closer. You know... Sometimes I think to myself, once I learn how to cook and I've paid you back for your help, will that be the end of us spending time together like this? We'll see each other in the dorm. But it wouldn't be the same. There's other people at the dorm, and I know how everyone depends on you. I can't get in the way of that. Sorry, I didn't mean to sound so depressed. She says as she sounds very depressed. We should start heading back. Hey, uh, do you mind if we'd make a small detour? I want to buy some ingredients. I think I'll tackle making Koro-chan's dinner today. I feel bad for Koro-chan, but yeah, sure, whatever. Welcome back. Tomorrow is the school trip, dude! I'm so psyched! I'm psyched that we're only going to Kyoto, though. Huh? Hmm? Jupiter seemed to have his energy back. I guess there was no reason to worry about him. <laughs> huh? What are you talking about? I'm always energetic. By the way, you better behave while we're gone. Don't go throwing any parties, got it? Yes. I won't. Oh, and please don't worry about bringing me back a souvenir. We're gonna bring him back a souvenir. Huh? Hey, are you trying to use a reverse psychosis on me or something? No. No, of course not. Yes, he does. I'm, it's just that Kyoto has a lot of great tasting snacks. <gasps> Not to think of it, the cops I planted on the rooftop should be ready to harvest by now. Let's do it. Also, let's check on our equipment. Hopefully, this jacket was worth the money. Like, Fuka, you don't really need it, but sure. More golden tomatoes. And we'll use the computer. 
Today I'm living on the class field trip. The train is scheduled to arrive in Kyoto in the afternoon. I hope we make some good memories. Oh yeah, definitely nothing trau traumatizing or something. Kyoto, huh? That's so cliche. Huh? You're not a fan? I'd say it's a beautiful city to make some good memories in while we're still young. Man, is that really the first thing you think? It makes you sound like an old geezer when you say that kind of stuff. It does? Hmm? <sighs> Thank goodness. She actually made it. We transferred to a tour bus after arriving at Kyoto Station. The sun has already set. Higashiyama Sanjo, Godaigo Inn. And here we are! Whoa, nice place! Yeah, this part of town is pretty fancy. Hey. What's that umbrella for? Wanna get under it? I get the feeling it's for good luck, you know? So, which way to the geishas? Think we can ask them to put on a show? God damn it, Ryoji! Oh, that's right, I forgot about that! Hope it's not too pricey! God damn it, Junpei! Keep dreaming, Junpei. The stone area outside is filled with water. Is this one of those open-air hot springs I've heard about? Uh, that's the courtyard. Right, this is the courtyard. Wanna go out for a walk later, I guess? Sorry, Oji. Where was your old school planning to go for their trip? Probably somewhere cool like another country, I bet. Kyoto's so typical, don't you think? Hmm? Me? A trip. Hmm. Did we even have one? How do you not know? That's an event most people tend to remember. It is? Alright, you can all chat later. You're blocking the hallway. Girls, your rooms are that way. Go on and get yourselves unpacked. You heard her. We'll see you later then. Yeah, we'll see you later, dude. Yes, I shall see you later, Yukari-san. Okay, okay, enough of this. I guess you're with us. Junpei, guy's room. <laughs> Man. Man. I guess please don't learn from Junpei. For your own uh, sake. Okay, uh, first of all, we go and do some shopping for... Uh, Ken. Come on in, anything? Next, we are going to buy things from the vending machines. Where, where, where is this? Where are the stairs? Move. I don't know who you are. Don't talk to me. Let's 
start from the bottom and uh, talk to uh, our friends. Hey, what's up? Hurry, hurry, hurry. You can talk later. Hurry up and get to your rooms. I don't want to get yelled at for your behavior. I am behaving nicely, ma'am. It is you who keeps a very weird look on me for whatever reason. You? Do you not know which room you're in? I don't know. Uh-huh. Uh, Bajakun, to get to your room, go up the stairs and turn right. Your room will be on the right-hand side at the end of the hall. Got it? Now go. Don't yell at me. <laughs> I turned my head and sneaking out. <laughs> but I still got... Oh, but okay. You talk. Yet. Fine. You talk. I don't talk. You talk. Well, guess we had to head to our room now. Come on, let's hustle. Or else Miss Toriyumi might get pissed at us. Hey there. Did you know the hot springs here is really f famous? Every few hours, there is a surprise. <laughs> a, a surprise? The final surprise. Ryoji, what kind of surprise is there in the, in, 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 in the hot springs? This motherfucker. I hate him so much. Ooh, 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 this is a punchable face if I've ever seen one yet. What? You wanna fix the audio? Fix the audio. Well, look who we have here. Is the Kyoto cuisine to your liking? I don't want to answer that. Honestly speaking, I have little interest in the plant-based fare they have going on here. I sampled the food the souvenir shop had to offer, but I find myself unimpressed. I don't remember asking. God, I'm glad we're almost done with the socialing. Honestly, staying at an inn like this doesn't feel much different from our everyday dorm life. I think I'll just head to bed. Hopefully my run tomorrow proves to be more exciting. Oof. Oh, hey. Even though we were just on a train the whole day, I'm feeling pretty tired. But you know what? I've been totally psyched for this trip. Sample the local food, hit the hot springs, shop for souvenirs. Oh, and I'm a pro at pillow fights. I sling them so fast they'll never see it coming. Uh, are you gonna assassinate someone? Then, after lights out, we girls get together and gush about who we like. Oh, very fascinating. And this year, I've got a lot to say. I wonder about whom. Oh, oh, by the way, have you checked out this vending machine? You don't really see these drinks back home. Maybe I should buy some as a souvenir. Oh, it's you. It's me! If you want to know more about the trip, you can find the details in the itinerary over there. You know, you could be a bit warmer. I mean, I'm not going to pause you. Do you want to talk about it? She doesn't. Let's go to our room. You okay, Kev? School excursion, day two. Today's itinerary visiting Kyoto's historical sites. Yeah, I noticed. Okay, this is cute. <laughs> Ryuji looks so happy. Do it for him. I went sightseeing around Kyoto aboard our two bus. It was much more exciting seeing the historical location in person than in photos. In the afternoon, we all went our separate ways, uh, the Kamogawa River, near the hotel. We should probably head back. We don't want to miss curfew. <sighs> Not to mention, Shijo Street will be crawling with drunks and couples the longer we stay. Why are you so concerned about me? It was our fight that brought us together, and now that fight is over. We have no common goal, no enemy to defeat. You have no reason to associate with me anymore. You don't have to be hurtful about this. We've reached our conclusion. Why should we keep fighting? Everything I believed in was a lie. And in the end, 
I... You what? You couldn't protect someone important to you? Is that what you're trying to say? You said you wanted to atone for the Kirijo group's past, but that's not true. You were really only fighting to protect your father. That's right. I fought to protect him, and look what happened. I was blinded by my trust for Ikutsuki and fell right into his trap. There was nothing I it's could do. It's the puns. You shouldn't have trusted the puns. My father bore the burden of responsibility entirely on his own. And ever since that incident, he looked like he was dead inside. I fought so he could be free of the shame and guilt weighing down on him. <sighs> but it was all pointless. I never should have gotten involved. Am I wrong? Damn! You curry just Sorry, keeps eating people. Holy shit! <sighs> You know, I used to live around here. After my dad died, my mom spent all her time throwing herself at random men. I couldn't stand seeing that side of her. So I used to come out here to the riverbank to get away. <laughs> at that point, believing in my dad was all I had. Your father only did what he thought was best. He was involved in dangerous work, but... In the end, he fought to make things right. He believed the shadows needed to be stopped, even if it meant losing his life. That's why I choose to fight. I'm going to destroy the Dark Hour and finish what my dad started. Finish what he started. That's all I can do. That we can do. Right, Mitsuru-senpai? Takeba. You're right. It's not over just yet. We're going to see this through to the end, for my father's sake, and for yours. Senpai. No kids. Let's face what comes next together, okay? Yes. Of course. All right, <laughs> let's head on back and check out the bath. The bath? Yeah, the outdoor hot spring back at the hotel. It's really nice. Now that everything's out in the open, we have nothing left to hide. Psst, nothing? <sighs> well, no. This is awkward. <laughs> hey, stop blushing. You're making this awkward for both of us. Come on, there is absolutely That's not a single happy. straight bone in those girls' bodies. You don't need to worry, Father. I'm not alone. And I won't turn back anymore. The resolution in Mitsuru's heart has awakened a new persona. Mitsuru's persona, Penthesilea, has given rise to Arte Artemis Artemisia? Art Artemisia. Yeah. I can re actually read this name. Oh, I see the almighty. Massive almighty damage to one foe and lowers all of their stats. Hi, hello! I love it! Please, watch over me. You already changed into your Yukata? Damn, you're fast. Dude, you won't believe what Miyamoto did today. Help me talk some sense into him. And do you always have to wear that stupid jersey? Of course I do. This way I'm ready to run wherever, whenever. Duh. That's the problem. You literally just run off. You have no idea how exhausted I am because of you. Do you know what this guy did? He went on a mad dash up the hill at Kiyomizu Dera. The rest of our group had to chug along to try and keep up with him. Look, man, if you see an incline, you gotta run uphill. No, you're done. That's what a real athlete does. Right? I don't want to take sides in this divorce. Oh, we didn't talk with Bebe last night. 
Ha! You are wearing a yukata! I also wish to try wearing one, but uh, it was très difficile. Very challenging. The string, it got tangled up and, uh, and my clothes came off. But you look fabulous. I am envious. I wanted to feel like the evil magistrate. You know, the kind who says things like, Oh, ho, 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 I am quite villainous on the tele... on the TV. Uh, looks like you're still wet behind the ears. Listen closely, all right? No gourmet worth their salt will be caught wearing a yukata. Can I just kick him or something? Wheat! Our belly expands. The sash gets too tight, so we loosen it. Then we eat some more. We loosen the sash more. The sash falls off. We're left in the nude. You follow me? Okay, that was a conversation. Who else can I bother? Oh, we'll talk to him soon. It seems like Mitsuru's overcome her pain. I don't know what happened, but I'm relieved to see that she's feeling better. Oh! You're wearing the yukata! Oh, it looks good on you. <laughs> you look kind of different than usual. Good different. <laughs> you know, my group actually passed yours earlier today. I guess you didn't notice me, though. I thought about calling out to you, but I just couldn't. Why? Well, I, I don't really know why, but... It's just, when you're with your friends from the dorm, you're like a different person. You wear certain expressions around them that I never get to see when you're with me. You jealous? Not that it really matters or anything. <laughs> it's metals. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to be all weird about this. You're weird about this. So basically, I, I was feeling lonely, and all I wanted was for you to notice me. Whew, glad I got that off my chest. I just wanted to walk around Kyoto with you. Joke's on you, I'm gonna hang out with Ryoji because he is my wife and not you. Ha! 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 Hey there. I'm on the beacon. I had a favor to ask. Yukari-san told me there is a riverbank nearby with a great view. Would you like to check it out with me tomorrow? Promise Ryoji. Thanks. Hey, it sounds like a plan. I'll come find you when we start heading back tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. Yes, we need to hang out with Ryoji. The best wife we could have found. Anyone I know? Aegis and Fuka! Just now. I saw Yukari-san and Mitsuru-san leave the vicinity together. I saw Yukari-chan and Kirito-senpai together earlier. They looked like they were having fun chatting with each other. You don't see that very often. Well, I guess we got to bed. Excursion day three. Today's itinerary free time within the city. Oh shit, they're pretty! <laughs> Mitsuo seems to have chilled up. She's being friendly with her classmates, and especially Yukari. I wonder what happened. None of my business! I didn't know you could come all the way down here. Going on trips is great, huh? I've seen a lot of the sights here now, and everything is so fascinating. There's so much I've never seen before. My mind's having trouble keeping up. I even bought myself a souvenir. Look, it's a music box. Doesn't it sound nice? I don't know the name of the song, though. I think I like it. 
I'm kind of glad to hear you say that. Sometime, way down the line, I'll listen to this melody. And when I do, I'll think back fondly on this trip. Evening sun is so bright, reflecting off the water's surface. It's different from the view we get from the school roof. I wonder if this is the reason why people come to visit. But did you know, a long time ago, this place used to be an execution site. Wait, what? That's ominous, to say the least. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to darken the mood all of a sudden. And that stuff happened a long time ago. Besides, it's still nice and bright out right now. I've heard rivers have long been thought to be a border between this world and the afterlife. But with so many couples around, it doesn't really give that impression, huh? You know, I've been thinking, every one of us will die someday, right? Eventually, the time will come when we have to part. So then, why? Why do people try so hard to connect with each other? I'm not just talking about romance either. It's the same for friends, family, everyone. For each person you connect with, it just makes saying goodbye that much harder. So, what's the point? Hmm. I think it's all free in a way. Like you can't survive being like you can you can be a hermit, but I think it's healthier for us humans to connect with other people. And most people don't want to feel lonely because it it usually goes to the necessary to survive. But also it's inevitable in a way. Sometimes you just make friends and you don't know how you do it. You don't go and search for them. It just happens. Uh, I guess I'll go for those connections are inevitable. I think. So you mean you can't escape it? But from what I can tell, everyone around here wants to have that kind of relationship. If they were just forced together by circumstances, I don't think they'd look so happy. It just happens, mate. Oops. Sorry. Conversation got a bit heavy there. Looking out at the river just made me think about things for some reason. If you follow the flow of water, you'll eventually reach the ocean, right? Its destination is already decided. But it takes so many different forms before it gets there. Sometimes it's quiet and calm. Other times it's choppy rapids. Sometimes it's clear, but other times murky. I imagine we're the same way. We're all in the midst of a long journey, with all kinds of things happening as we go along. I never realized any of this until coming on this trip with you. Everything feels that much more fascinating when you're here. I guess you could say it expands my horizons. Time spent talking together with you like this just feels precious to me. <laughs> it kind of sounds like I'm confessing my love or something, huh? Confess! Confess! Confess, it's damn it! It's chilly out here by the water. But we should probably head back. Don't want to get in the way of all the couples. We are also the couples. No? No? Are we not the couples? We're going. No ifs or and or buts about it. I mean, we just gotta come find you when you're free. I should talk to Junpei later. Okay, we'll talk to Junpei last. Bebe, what do I have to say? <laughs> Today I saw Kiyomizu. Kiyomizu was so high up. And then I saw Kinkaku. Kinkaku was so shiny. I think we also saw Kinkaku, no, Mod? It was super crowdy. Tomorrow, I will go see Kinkaku. Kinkaku versus Kinkaku. Who will be the winner? 
Uh, you just put them one next to the other and you make them fight to the death. Oh, it's you! I've been debating what to eat next. So far, I've had Senbei, Namayatsuhashi, more Namayatsuhashi, Senmaizuke, then more Namayatsuhashi, Senbei again, and Senbei again. Now what? Just eat whatever you want. Honestly, I don't want to be part of this You're conversation. Me decide? How could I lost in this state of hunger? Hmm. Too much of a good thing can be a bad thing. And that goes for Kyoto's healthy cuisine, too. Now that's deep. I mean, the food is good. Who are we to complain about good food? This is the first time I have seen a bathtub this large. Although, it seems highly inefficient to leave the hot water running. Good for you, I guess. Good for you. That's already the last night of our trip. All we ever did was visit the temples, but... I think I'm gonna miss it here once we get home. There's just one thing I regret. Where is the girl of my dreams? Aren't romantic encounters supposed to happen on school trips? Maybe... Track team guy is, uh... Your romantic encounter. That's all you ever talk about. Isn't it about time you grow up? Wow, look at you all high and mighty. Even though you're the one sneaking glances at Takeba-san and her yukata. What? I, I wasn't looking at her. <laughs> Hot springs are so relaxing. Thank you for this tidbit of information. Oh, hey! This trip went by in a blur. I can't believe we're already heading home tomorrow. Since we were in different groups, it was also kind of a bummer. I feel the same way! So we both felt the same way. <sighs> you know, when I visited the temples earlier today, I kept thinking about you. Like, what it'd be like if you were there. Or if you'd like this keychain I got for you. I even saw a Buddhist statue that reminded me a little of you. I'm not bored, though. I guess. <laughs> but now that I've gotten a good look at you, I don't really see the resemblance. You know what? I think I like it best when I'm with you. And that's my call to leave. Let's go on a date once we get home, okay? No. Junpei was looking for you downstairs. I, I am aware. Uh, thank you, Hakihiko. My most useful secretary. that Kirijo senpai seems to be feeling better. Sup? Want to check out the outdoor hot spring? Let's go. Sweet. I mean, what is a persona game without a hot spring scene? I'll grab Sonata-san and Ryoji, so you can head back to the room and get ready. Do you know this hot spring is open for guys at certain times and girls at others? No way, really? So, there's a chance we could switch to girls only while we're still in here. But even if that happens, it wouldn't be on us, right? That's true. Something like that actually happening wouldn't be our fault. Don't you think? An accident for sure. Anyway, I was just asking. Not like I'm being serious. Hey, isn't it getting kind of hot in here? I wonder if it was foreshadowing. Jump and Ryoji seem to be acting strange. So, what time does this hot spring change from guys only to girls only, Junpei? Oh, I'm not sure. I didn't bother to check. Right, Ryoji-kun? Right. It could happen at any moment, couldn't it, Junpei-kun? 
You morons. So if that's why we came at such a strange time. <laughs> Calm down, man. We're just joking. I mean, yeah, we are here at a weird hour. But don't worry about it. I doubt any girls will come out here this late. What? Someone's here. Oh, man. What are we gonna do? Probably just another guy. Yeah, don't worry. We can say we didn't know. That it's all just a misunderstanding. Wow. This hot spring is huge. Oh, God, no. Oh, shit! Oh, God, no. Wow, you're right. It's as big as a swimming pool. So this is an outdoor hot spring. Unfortunately, its therapeutic benefits have no effect on me. Shit, it's them! What are they doing here this late? Junpei, didn't you say that you kinda wanna catch the girls? Didn't you plan this, you idiot? Of course you planned this, you idiot! Yes! Yukari-san and Fuka-san! Oh, this is my lucky little... Shut up, you dumbass! They'll hear you! I also find the one thing disturbing. They all have the same body model and it makes their face not fit their body and it's kind of disturbing me. And I think it's one of those things only I would notice. Like, you'd expect What's the Kihiko, like, to be Did more muscular something? because he's a boxer. And I guess I'd expect Junpei to be, like, thinner because it's Junpei. I don't know. They, their faces just don't really fit their bodies. Mitsuru's here, too? Oh, man. There's no way she'll see this as just a misunderstanding. Uh. You don't think she'd get us expelled for this, right? Oh no, she'll just get you killed. Only when we got here. It's not like we planned this. We were just goofing around. Junpei. Do you expect her to buy that? No, if she finds us, then... Then what? We'll be executed. Uh, executed? Yeah, I think I did hear something. Fuka, could you check over there? It could be a ghost. Um, okay. We have to make our way out of the hot spring without being spotted. This is a life or death mission. If we fail, calling this an accident isn't gonna cut it. Hmm. I don't see anyone here. That's Fuka-san's voice. Is she going around the rock? Yay, you're leading this operation, aren't you? What the I hell love that they use do? the music for like the serious scenes in this scene. Uh, we will hide in the steam. Seems like a bold move, but I trust your judgment. Wow, you really know what you're doing. In the shadows. No, there's no one here. See? You have nothing to be afraid of. Are you sure? Wait, why is there a rubber ducky? Sometime. Oh, why is there a rubber ducky in the hot springs? Mitsuru and Agus are probably close too. Can't afford to be careless here. But now what? Use the duck as a red herring. I get it. We'll distract them with noise. Good plan. Convenient uh, rubber ducky. Why is it red? He can explain later. Ah, what was that? Yukari, what's wrong? What happened? There was a splash just now. We know where they are now. This is our chance. Whoa, whoa, hang on! We'll never make it if we just run out into the open like that! Just follow my lead. Whoa, so much confidence. You're like a natural-born leader. Well, he got us this far. 
Might as well go all in with ya. All right, let's move. Hmm? Oh, no, it couldn't be. What's this? It appears to be a rubber duck. So there really wasn't anything there, huh? Sorry, I guess I was wrong. Is it just me, or is the water a little too hot? I'm getting kind of lightheaded. Yamagishi appears to be stripped of her abilities when stripped of her clothing. <laughs> there is it's a rule. There isn't a single straight bun in this video game! Each individual human body has its own distinct characteristics. To be more specific... Okay, that's plenty, I guess. <laughs> Let's go. I'll treat you to some ice cream. Ice cream? That's a highly efficient way to cool down. That's right, I guess. We love ice cream here. Ugh, I don't know how, but we made it out. All thanks to you. One wrong step. And Mitsuru would have had our heads. Yeah, welcome. Where did Junpei and Mochizuki go? Huh? Junpei kun and Ryoji kun are lying on the ground over there. Their faces are all red. Are they okay? I bet they were doing something stupid again. Just leave them alone. Oh, looks like the heat got to them. Guess they got what was coming. Okay, everyone. You all remember when we're meeting at Kyoto Station, right? You better make sure you're on time. If any one of you is late, I'm the one who pays the price. I thought Kyoto was gonna blow, but it actually wasn't that bad. Well, mostly because of last night. Fuck you, Junpei. You're talking about the hot spring, right? Damn it, keep your voice down. Crap, here they come. Hmm? What's going on, guys? Oh, uh, we're just having a, um, a reflection meeting. What is a reflection meeting? What are you reflecting on? Huh? Uh, oh, drugs. Don't worry about it. Okay. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> this secret stays between us. Got it? You guys better take it to the grave. Well, this is gonna be a long one for me, huh? I mean, oh! Yeah, of course! Oh, welcome back! I am... <sighs> oh! Hmm. What? Hmm. Don't question it, Ken. Don't question it. Looks like Koromaru is really happy to see you. You guys have been gone for a while. You guys must have had a lot of fun on the trip. You've all been talking about it non-stop when we hang out in the lounge. Koromaru and I were the only ones left behind at the dorm, so it was really quiet during that time. I can't remember the last time I spent so many nights without hearing a peep. I stayed up late watching TV with Koromaru in the lounge. Then I'd doze off for a while, but it was actually so quiet. I couldn't sleep. We're well, sorry, kid. Hmm? What's the matter? I think there's something he wants to give you, Senpai. <laughs> I feel like I've been able to tell what Koromaru's thinking lately. 
It's probably because we spent so much time alone together these past few days. Then juice. Uh, let's give it to Elizabeth. Good day. Here are my requests. Let's hear the result. Is that you have? Hmm. Very well. Next. Oh, we need. Good day. Did we get the Here request ninety three? Does it look like we got it? you do anything but it'd be greatly appreciated hmm. very well okay we need an empress now uh, who do we get rid of to the velvet room this is your um, progress yes. so far please is this acceptable may it be your inner strength very well we look Uh, let's go and start our social link with Mitsu. Slurp the noodles. Oh, right. Slurping is considered polite. I've heard about that. 
hope I can do this correctly. Now then, let us begin. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Hmm. What a fascinating flavor. Giving Cadino? It's strange at first, but it carries with it a subtle complexity. Yes, this is quite delicious. Excuse me, Monsieur Chef de Cuisine? Oh god, no, I'm gonna have a second time to go. Chef de Cuisine? Talking to me? Your ramen is absolutely wonderful. It's been a while since I last gave my compliments to the chef. What do you use for the bouillon? Bouillon? What the hell is that? You're asking about the recipe? Sorry, miss, can't tell you. That's how we put bread on the table. So it's a secret recipe. I completely understand. You don't have to tell me. You mentioned this dish puts bread on the table. I suppose that means it comes in. No, it doesn't. I see. It doesn't. What a fascinating delicacy. Uh, that ain't exactly. Well, whatever. The recipe of something this delectable could likely be patented and sold for quite a profit. Oh, sorry. Um, my imagination got the best of me. I've been wanting to try ramen for a long time. <sighs> Do you find that unusual? Uh, nah. You're rich. Oh, that's good to hear. I never had the opportunity to eat this kind of food growing up. The style of restaurant is new to me too. So I have to admit, it's something I've always wanted to try. I'm glad we came here today. You've already taught me so much about ramen etiquette. Ramen etiquette, okay. I would love to return here in the future. That's on an unexpected side of Mitsuru. I feel like our relationship has a bond. Oh, I didn't notice the time. We should be going. Was just here. Came to hang out with Jumpy Corn. It's not often that we get visit with him. Yeah. And I think it's okay. I'm actually surprised that he's not with the girl. Okay, well, as I guess. Um, I saw her on the second floor. Huh? Really? Uh, maybe she's with Koromaru. It's not like them uh, to be gone. Uh, let's head out with uh, Koopa. Um, Looks good. Just to be safe, we should adjust the amount of fertilizer and make sure they get enough sun. They look like they're growing fine now. <sighs> what a relief. It's all thanks to you, Fuka. Oh, I only lent a helping hand. I'm sure tending them is important. But it's all thanks to the plants themselves for being so strong. You know, after I treated the plants when they were sick, I kept coming back here to check on them. I noticed that the spots where we had cut off the leaves were already sprouting new ones. And in just a little while, they were healthy and green all over again. Maybe I'm making a big deal of this, but it made me realize that life is actually quite amazing. It didn't matter that they had been weakened or had damaged parts. Just giving them a little support was enough for them to show how strong Yeah, really it's like are. humans are like tomatoes. We could learn from them. Yes, it really gave me hope. I think in a lot of ways, we're just like them. I'm not sure how to say it, but I hope I can be as resilient as these plants are. Oka is looking tenderly at the plants we have gone together. That really reduces damage taken when an ally weakness is stuck. Nice! I think I'll check on the plants one more time, just to show my appreciation. Alright, 
That should do it. Shall we head back down? <sighs> what am I drawing? Yeah. What is this? What? <gasps> it's been a while. Oh, God damn it! That voice. Hi, Jesus. I'm glad to see you once again. Jin, the instruments, if you would. Here. Don't tell me you can't even recognize your own evoker. <gasps> now there's nothing in the world keeping you here, yes? Takaya. Surely you understand. There is nowhere for you to go. Your only choice is to come with us. You know all too well that death is not to be feared. You need only fear. I know, Takaya. Excellent. It's all his fault. Ever since he started getting too close, I've suffered every single day. And now... I'm afraid to die. Hey, Jidori, hurry it up. Mejia, let's go. Uh, sun, we're gonna hang up with the sun. Do we have a sun on us? Yes, we have Snakey Snake. Uh, I'm gonna try. Give me a minute so I can calm down. Take as long as you need. The pain comes and goes, but I'll be fine once it passes. It's getting better. Thanks. I stopped taking my medicine. It's not going to cure me anyway, right? It just eases my pain and suffering. Isn't it good enough? Why did you stop? My medicine makes me drowsy, and if my hands go numb, then I can't write. I have to finish my story. The reason I haven't finished my story is because I haven't found the meaning of my life yet. I'll get absorbed in my writing, erase it, and then lose sight of how to reach the end. When I'm with you, I can almost see it. It's because you've been here for me. It seems like you might have given me a reason to finish. I'm probably writing this book to find my own meaning in life. And if I do find it, if I do finish the story, I hope we have a little more time together after that. Kamiki smiled weakly. I feel like our relationship is stronger now. That's it for today, but I hope to see you again. Welcome back. Okay, let's make coffee with can. Um. The inside of my mouth still tastes all. Uh, I mean, coffee's meant to be taken black, don't you think? It's the only way to experience the natural taste of the beans. Now, fuck you, coffee you drink with milk, and you use it as an excuse to procrastinate shit. Where is today's from? Oh, 
Um, it's called a value pack blend. I bought it at the supermarket. <laughs> Does the quality of the beans really affect the flavor that much? Maybe I'll try some better ones next time. Anyways, sorry for the sudden invite, but they say that drinking coffee can help you relax and concentrate better. I just thought something like that might benefit us in our upcoming battles. And I figured if I could learn to make good coffee, people might find that useful. I'll do some more research. I can tell there's room for improvement. Sorry for asking you to help me clean up too. Please take the leftovers with you. Although you might not necessarily Leftover like- Leftover coffee? Okay, coffee. Oof. But wait, what? Uh, what? What is leftover coffees? When do you have leftover coffees? Mod, as a coffee expert, there's no such a thing as leftover coffees. Mod seems very confused, or maybe almost as, con as confused as me, about the leftover coffee debacle. Sure, I'd prefer my coffee to taste good, but I could do without all the test sips. Easy, Insta okay, coffee, milk, you drink the it, and then you take the best shit of your life. Too much, like so a man. Like someone who'd appreciate a good cup of coffee, like from a cafe. I'm kidding. I hope course. you have another cup the next time I make some. I'll make sure it tastes better by then. <laughs> well then, good night. I drink so much coffee, I can't sleep anymore. Yamagishi detected a presence. Other Persona users. They're outside Tartarus. Other Persona users? You don't mean... Strega. They're still alive. Man, those bastards! First the Dark Hour doesn't go away and now Strega's back? What the heck's going on? Yamagishi, can you see who it is? There's only one of them, but... I thought she was in the hospital. Huh? No, she's... She's inside! Ah! What's wrong? Long time no see. Chidori! She hijacked the transmission? I can't stand the sight of you all anymore. So I've decided to get rid of you. Come to me. I mean, if you insist. <gasps> Yamagishi! I'm... Okay. I don't get it. Wasn't she in the hospital? Junpei, do you have any idea what's going on? <sighs> Junpei? Shut up! I don't know shit! God damn it! What? Junpei, come back! We have to go after him. This is almost certainly a trap. But it's Strega we're dealing with. We can't just ignore them. And if we confront them, we might gain some insight on the current situation. Please be careful. I only sensed one person, but the other two could be nearby. True. Leader, we have no idea what they're planning. So choose your team wisely. We'll go after Iori once you're ready. Mm hmm. Let's see. What do we have to work with? Of course, Jupe is. I think Chidori. It uses a persona that uses fire damage. So I guess maybe Koromaru?
door make a call. that smart and I've done a lot of stupid things shit ton of stupid things this, this is wrong we shouldn't be fighting each other Junpei-kun look out Whoa. hey okay this is kind of a scary close. weapon you could have killed someone there Yuri. why Get back, Junpei. Talking won't solve anything now. It's too dangerous. I know how you feel, Junpei-kun. But please, just back up. Medea. This isn't where I belong. I've known that from the start. Shinori! What the hell's gotten into you? Get ready. Madea is such a cool looking persona though. Ow! Uh, well, let's start. Let, let's start. Let's let's start thinking of something. Okay, she's not weak to eyes. A you heal us. Cause what the fuck was that? Very rude. The best bet. Go! Oh, she has a fist. Takaya was right. You're all just a nuisance. Good. Get ready. I'm not mad about it, a bit weird, but okay. No! No! I don't have the money! This pain is nothing compared to the suffering I'm feeling inside. This Sounds like a you issue. I don't feel it. Yet. us you wanted to kill us why should i leave you alone i don't know i don't know anymore Junpei. Do it! Seeker! 
We can also not use our theurgies. But I guess we're not doing it because of Junpei? Oh. Oh, because of plot. Shinori! I told you. Don't touch me. Chidori, please. Tell me why you're doing this. What I fear most isn't death. What I fear most is attachment. When I do, I become horrified by the thought of loss. My possessions, my life, everything. That's why we only ever live for the moment. But you, Junpei, you brought me pain I never wanted. What? When I'm with you, Junpei, I fear everything. I fear loss. I fear death. I fear my time with you will end. That's why I... Chidori... That sense! What is it? It's the others from Straka! Oh, fuck. How did they... Bastards! You just don't know when to give up! I refrained from interfering as requested, and look what became of it. Chidori, I see that it is too late. You've been poisoned by them. What the hell does that mean? You freaking ghost! Ah. I am no ghost. Fate simply permitted me to live despite my detachment. God life. damn it! You might say I. It, it really, literally is the meme. I survived another day, day, and I'm gonna make it everybody else's problem. I'm not letting you do this to her anymore. Protect Chidori with my life. Chidori, Chidori, come with me. Don't stay with these guys. Hmm. Junpei, look out! What? Junpei... No! Huh? I'm so glad you're awake. Chidori? I thought I was. I guess I was wrong. My fear, my heartache, I blamed it all on you, Junpei. I'd never felt that way before I met you. And for the first time in my life, I, I realized what I wanted. And... What's that? I want to be with you, Junpei. Forever. I... Um... Uh, I... I want to be with you, too. Aww. But it could never last. And it breaks my heart. We are different from you. Since the moment I gained my power, I've known the day I was going to die. Huh? The very thought of it horrified me. Up until then, I'd never once thought about death. But I realize now, dying means I won't see you anymore. Chidori. That's why this is for the best. You can't die here, Junpei. Me? Die? What? Junpei! 
It's her persona. Does it have the power to bestow life? I don't believe it. She brought him back from the dead? But wait! If she goes as far as completely reviving someone, the cost for that would be... Shh! <laughs> Chidori! <laughs> wait, isn't it that one scene from Star Wars that pissed everyone off? So it worked. I can hear you. The sound of your beating heart. But da, but da. That's all I needed to know. Now I can go on living in you. I'll always be with you. Huh? Hey, Chidori! Stay with me! What the hell are you even talking about? Hey! This is how it has to be. Don't worry. I'll protect you, Junpei. Always. Yeah, same. I've got your back. I'll do everything I can to protect you. So come on! Pitiful. Such a meaningless end. Oh, you shouldn't have said it. Oh, you shouldn't have said it. Hmm. The resolution in Jumpe's heart has awakened a new persona. Jumpe's persona, Hermes, became one with Chidori's persona, Medea. They gave rise to a new power. Oh fuck, eh. Uh, I am not reading that! <laughs> Medea? Burn it! You won't get away with that! Jumper! My, that was quite... No way I'll be able to, to no, pronounce this name without breaking my tongue, you know, Philo? Takaya, don't! Don't forget about your mission! I can't, it's too complicated, and I am and I am not that smart, fuck it. I have a much greater purpose to fulfill, and since you have no means of destroying the Dark Hour, there's no point in dealing with you any longer. Enjoy squandering what little time you have left. <laughs> you know I'm not good with long and complicated words. Get back here! Let me go! I'll... She entrusted you with this life! Don't just... throw it away. Chidori... It's a bit complicated. Chidori... I... I... Oh God, this is so hard, but... It's not just my life anymore. Junpei. Exactly, I'm not good with long and complicated words. 
Everyone was silent as we walked back to the dome together. No one could find the right words to say to Junpei. I wonder if we loved Shinjiro enough we could have revived him, but hey, I guess the power of revival is uh, limited. Okay, we'll play for a bit longer, and then I think we will for uh, the stream before we go to Tartarus. Okay, where do we go? We go... Naganaki Shrine. I just... If there is one thing I love and hate about this game is something super depressing happen happening. Probably more depressing than other Persona games. Okay, depressing on par of Shin Megami Tensei games. And then the game is like, happy fun time music! Listen to the happy time fun music! Life goes on, life moves on! You don't get to grieve in our video games, you have a schedule! Yeah, you want them good personas, you have to be with the schedule! Yes, we're doing everything for the schedule! No tears! I don't care you just were sitting on the floor crying your eyes out! Schedule! Yes, always happy, 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 happy! Be happy! I know you've just been traumatized like what? Three, four, five times to uh, up to this point? And you're gonna be traumatized like ten more times until the end of this game? And they're like... Only what? 10 to 20 more hours into the game and you're gonna be traumatized like every other minute of it? Doesn't matter, happy fun time music! Schedules! Relationships! Exactly! Happy happy fun time! I love it when we have happy happy fun time! Who doesn't like happy, happy, fun time? Oh, welcome back. Jupe's son is still in his room. It's hard losing someone you're so close to. Yeah, tell me about this Ken Amada. I hope he's okay. Yeah, I sure hope he is Ken Amada. Where is he? I don't care. Oh, look at the doggy! He's such a good boy! Yes, you are! God, I love Koromaru so much! Honestly, whoever thought bringing a, a dog to a Persona game uh, thought that was a good idea, he was right. He was so fucking right. We need mental image training, so I guess we need to buy it. Maybe it's here? Question mark? I guess I used it and forgot about it? idea what I just did. Wait. The revenge website has been shut down.
Career experience week will take place over the next four days. Fun! He was on a strip mall, Wild Egg Burger. Good morning. Everyone who's in the internship program, please follow me to the back entrance. We'll provide you all with uniforms. Once everybody's dressed, we'll get to work. For the next four days, I'll be helping out with cleaning. Yeah, definitely learning life skills over there. I'll try to get used to the job. When you're done there, could I ask you to take the trash out? Can I have this outfit for Tartarus? Oh, the trash is already out, I see. For some reason, Tamochika is in front of the restaurant. Oh, hey. Uh, morning. You uh, look good in that uniform. Forgot you chose this place, too. What are you doing here? Well, you know, just psyching myself up to prepare for the internship. I mean... I want to wear it to eat Tartarus. The bare minimum job requirement, right? As my prospects are looking pretty grim. I overslept like hell. Uh... Oh, damn it. Oh, I really screwed this one up. Coming in late on my first day, they're gonna be so pissed. I know a guy who works here. He said the manager's a real hard ass. Man, I really don't want to go in now. What do I do? Let's go together. Well, I guess I need to take the trash into the back into the store, huh? Best, man. No, 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 wait. Even if you back me up, I can't just tell them I overslept. Tell them you did drugs or something. You You're a teenager. Put on a uniform and stroll in like nothing happened. I'll just say my stomach wasn't feeling so good, and I was in the bathroom this whole time. So, uh, please, do me a solid. Grab me one of those uniforms and bring it out here. I'll treat you to any food you want. You can look at my homework, so please. Fine, I don't care, really. Dude, for real? I owe you my life, man. Just hop on in there and grab it real quick. If you hide it under your shirt, nobody will... Oh, there you are. Working hard. Working hard or hardly working? Ha 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 ha. I'm suddenly the young and spry teacher when it's convenient. Sorry, I shouldn't be complaining to students. In any case, it looks like you two are doing just... Uh... Hey, Tomochika. <gasps> Hello! <laughs> Wait a minute, don't tell me. Well, uh, you see, I may have slightly overslept. Are you kidding me? How many times did I tell you all to be here not a minute late? Jeez. First someone's skipping out, and now this? Why does it always have to be my class? I'm sorry we're incompetent. Somebody skipped out? Well, that's just terrible. Talk about a failure of a human being. So, who was it? Junpei? Don't you grin at me like you found a friend. More importantly, I sure hope you called to let them know you were going to be late. Uh, well, you see, I guess my schedule just didn't line up, so... Always call first I feel like I shouldn't late. be in this conversation. Ugh. I'm definitely getting a talking to later. You're going to go apologize right now. Wait, now? I I need to gather my thoughts first and um And what exactly do you mean by that? You're not trying to find some way of getting out of this, are you? Uh are you even aware of all I the think I want to go back to uh, the dome. Yeah, I guess we're we'll stuck here now. This is our fate. You'd be fired on the spot. Now, go in there and apologize. Be ready to accept whatever punishment you get. Yes, ma'am. So, you are going in? Oh, yeah. I'm already pretty late as it is, and it is all my fault. If it makes you this upset, you shouldn't have been late in the first place. Remember, when you apologize, try to explain how you'll improve for next time. It reflects on your Next better. time I won't no be a piece of shit Make person sure really that it. will try to get in bed with teachers. Makes sense. 
And also, I won't be late, I promise. Sounds later. solid enough for me. <sighs> Guess I should go put in an apology from my side as well. Oh, by the way, have you heard anything from Iori? I, uh, <laughs> I don't want to be in this position, ma'am. I am just a McDonald's worker, ma'am. I have absolutely nothing to do with this very weird, very awkward conversation. Yori, who is Yori? I never heard of Yori. What a stupid name. No Yori here, only McDonald's and McNuggets and McRib and McChicken and Mac Coca Cola. No Yori here, not no Mac Yori. We don't serve Mac Yori, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm underage. You can talk to me. Technically, you're a groomer. Also, you're a groomer. Don't ask me how I know. Also, eh, uh, eh, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what <are> you... <laughs> you want me to talk more, Philo? Fine, I will talk more. <laughs> Well, if you haven't heard anything, it's fine. But if he's playing hooky, there's gonna be hell to pay. <sighs> hooky? I don't know what hooky is. I don't know. I don't know even who Yori is. Why are you asking me about Yori? I never heard about a Yori. Anyway, I'll be going now. Bye. A big smile and show them how much you love working service jobs. I hate it. I want a persona free myself. <laughs> I made myself laugh. <laughs> I don't know, it came so naturally to me. You know? What other strip mall? Wild Duck Burger. I think I'm starting to get the hang of walking here. I hate it. Oh, there you are. Hey, oh, you're looking pretty good. I would have thought you've been working here for years. You know what looks better? Me without the uniform. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. What are you doing here? Well, my internship ended a little early. I was getting hungry, so I thought I'd stop by. I could actually get it for the MacBook girl. Looks like you're doing all right. What's up? It's nothing, really. If That's not mean what, but why? Why should I... Why would I want a person to free myself over working at service jobs? Have you worked a service job? Come on, talking about McBurger. What do you want to do about dinner? I see you chose this place, too. Well, my internship ended a little early, so... So what? You came here to rub it in my face? You better not start picking up chicks in here. You are literally a chick magnet, you know that? Our sworn enemy. I wish he could pick me oh. up. Now that you're here, I'd actually like to get your opinion too, Tomochika-kun. About what? Lay it on me. We got time. You sure about that? You sure about that? Yeah, it's on me to take a break too. Come on, this is our chance to chill. I don't even think about wiping tables. <laughs> <laughs> you two get along pretty well, huh? I guess I'll go order something. You guys go ahead and find a seat. Hold on, the manager hooked me up with some nuggets. Let me go grab them. Not such a bad person once you get to know each other. Just kind of intimidating. Yo, he got my nuggets for free? Yo! Nice, you know your junk food. Now this is what being a high schooler is all about. Free so, McNuggets. Wanted to talk Fuck about yeah. something? <sighs> well, it's about June Baker. Yori? Are you guys doing the same internship? 
Yeah, we were supposed to, but he didn't show up. Yeah, he's kind of busy. What he's busy? I don't know what they're talking about. Who is Junpei? Never heard this name ever in my life. Uh uh, no, uh uh, not me. Happened to him? What makes you say that he's okay? He's just a silly Billy. He's a very big silly Billy. At first glance, he looks like he's goofing off as always, but it feels like he's forcing himself. I can see a hint of sadness when I look into his eyes. You know, Mochizuki, you're really starting to get on my nerves. Huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Why? You're that good looking, but you still watch out for your bros? You're too perfect. What are we even supposed to do about this guy? Um, kiss him? Anyway, I don't know what's up, but we, we kiss the Ryuji. He's not immune to getting bummed out sometimes. Guess that shouldn't be surprising. No one ever said being a teenager was easy. Let's give him some space, yeah? He's got this guy living in the same dorm. That's a recipe for recovery for sure. Yeah, huh? I am so useful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very useful for helping people recover from uh, the loss of their loved ones. Like I lost my loved ones. Many of them, actually. I will miss you, Mitsuo's dad. So much. It was so hot. Oh, crap, the time. Yeah, I gotta get back to work. I didn't even get to eat any of this. It's up to you now, Mochizuki. <laughs> I don't think I can eat this much. Uh, guess I'll go ask for a to-go box. At the no, wait, I'm a trash can. You can give me your food. He's probably right. I'm sure Junpei-kun will be back to his cheerful self again soon. Especially with you around. You're his best friend, right? He's got you too. Yeah, I'll do whatever I can to help. I have to admit, I'm a little jealous. I never really had someone like that before. <laughs> before, but what about now? Oh, uh, sorry, don't mind me. Seeing Junbei-kun like that had me worried about you as well. But I guess you're doing just fine. It's just... I don't like it. Seeing you... Seeing my friends in pain. Sorry, I didn't mean to drag this on so long. See you later. Good luck on the rest of your shift. Ryoji left and I go back to work. With the four days of internship done, I headed back to the dome. son's still not feeling well. I'm getting really worried now. That's... After all he's been through, I can understand why he's feeling down. I got really lucky this week though. I don't realize he took some days off because everyone was at career experience. Well, I hope he's feeling a little better now. Uh, I... I'm going to defeat those Traeger guys. I can't take this anymore! Yeah, I know how you feel. You don't have to do it all by yourself. Yes. I know. Awww! Teamwork! Where is the dog? I wanna hang out with the dog. We're gonna brush the dog off. He's so happy. Why would I wanna do anything besides brushing the dog? Look how cute it is! <gasps> Look at the toes! Look at those toe beans! They're so pink and big! Oh, he's so cute! Maybe I should finish brushing him? Bitch, did I tell you to stop? It seems like Omaru still wants me to keep brushing him. Thank you, Mod. Am I your Koromaru? I am Mod Koromaru. Honestly, yeah, it's the best thing we've done in this game because so far it's been depression, 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 depression. Shinjiro! Oh! Depression, 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 depression. Depression! And now we are petting the dog. Don't be sad. I keep brushing. I keep brushing. I am a slave for Sh for Koromaru. I was said I'm a slave for Shinjiro, which I can't be because he's dead. Where should I brush next? Yeah, very happy that I'm so cute. 
Why sad? Why sad? So I'm always patiently waiting for me to keep rushing. Happy! Happy doggo! Come on, bought, bought this soul refresh. Is it thanking me for bashing him? Where is this dog getting stuff? I'm so confused. Why this dog has so much stuff? Where does it find it? We're going to hang out with Mitsuru. We have the Empress, right? Yes. Honestly, actually, I today I was on Reddit and I saw a video of a cat coming in the middle of the night to the, their owner, and they just brought him a live frog. He just really wanted to share the frog with his owner. Actually, Chaos Cat was kind of cute today. I was uh, laying on my stomach and sleeping, and I sleep with the, uh, the IKEA shark. And she just sat on my shoulder and started playing with its uh, flipper. It was very, very cute. And then she started attacking me, which wasn't cute. <laughs> but you know, you win some, you lose some with the Chaos Cat. Greatly appreciated. Interesting. So this is what the interior looks like. It's smaller than I expected. Is this your first time? Well, technically, yes. But I did pass by once with Akihiko. So, I understand that you don't eat with utensils here? My utensils are for the weak. Serious problem. In all honesty, it's a good thing you You know it's good food if you can eat it is with it your hands. Profitable to sell Best food is eaten with hands. Prices? I'd be interested to know the average cost per unit. Oh, sorry, I found myself lost in thought again. In truth, I didn't ask you here just to eat. I wanted to express my personal thanks to you. Right now, our strength and conviction are being tested to their limits. We've only made it this far because we've been blessed with each other's partnership. I know I've been asking a lot of you, even more than the others, but I truly appreciate it. I just wanted to. I know sure she's talking to me, but I'm focused on the stupidest duck. It almost seems to trust. I feel like our relationship has grown. I feel very uncomfortable with the existence of this duck. I feel like the duck knows something I don't. Hmm? Oh, I didn't realize we were talking for so long. It would be rude to let the food grow cold. Shall we begin? Try to keep your chin up, Junpei. I know. So what'd you want? This came from the hospital. Is this... Chidori's sketchbook? They found it while they were sorting through her belongings. Ah. Um. <sighs> I know. I gotta snap out of this, but... It's just so hard. Yeah, we all know that I'm the real hard worker here. And not, you know... The rest of the fuckers I'm surrounded by. All sitting there doing nothing. Staring into space. While I ask Ken to fucking cast Diorama and he can't even do that. Hang in there, Junpei. There, there. Hey. Junpei, can I take a look? You probably wouldn't understand her drawings anyway. You sound like a hipster, Junpei. We don't appreciate it. What the? Wow, it's really good. This is amazing. Who wouldn't understand a drawing like this? Huh? Yes, I don't want to say. Eh, uh, eh. Uh, <laughs> it's, 
<laughs> tiramisu. You know, I don't even like tiramisu. Oh, it's that's actually really good. Of this is very cute. Sorry. <laughs> I know we're all underage in this game, but uh, do you want to hit the bottle or something, Junpei? Oh, wait, no, your father is an alcoholic piece of shit. Do you want a hug? Junpei. <laughs> it's like she's telling me to stop moping around. Junpei-kun. Okay, I'm gonna fight to get rid of the dark hour. I'm sorry for all the. If times. there is one thing I like that uh, that they change between the games, is that now Koromaru is more involved as a character and not just as a gimmick. He's just way more evolve, uh, involved in the plot. I still hate to admit it, but just know I'll be counting on you. Right back at you. Romance! Blaze of life. Massive fire damage to one foe, ignoring resistances. Fully restores users HP. Junpei. Junpei, you are never leaving the team ever again. <laughs> you are stuck with us. Junpei. My friends are all smiling with tears in their eyes. I sense a strong bond with them. Well, now that we're all a uh, fan, fan, and fan, 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 we're going to, we're going to uh, Tartarus. We'll do Tartarus tomorrow, cause I don't know, something in me is very starving. And also it's Tartarus. We're gonna spend uh, like a couple of hours. A few hours, if you will. My back! Oh, my back! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! I heard it. Open one instant scout with increase, uh, which increases a persona stat. That's lovely. It's not the best tarot card, but hey, which reminds me, I think I have one. This is such a cool looking persona. This is truly peak persona design. This is just so cool. But it looks like Junpei is still not available, which is a shame. Tris Magistus, you happy? It's a shame that Junpei is not with us, though. Uh, Elizabeth, do you have anything useful to give me? Thank I'm you. Very well. Before we start exploring, the, actually, I just want to see the flaws we missed. And tomorrow we'll explore Tartarus uh, as we should. 170 and 171. Time to start exploring. Let's move. Fine, fine. You win. You win, Philo. The shadows are getting even more powerful. We need to get stronger, too. Rapid bends. Not bad. I appreciate that looks like it might be painful, actually. And next will be 171. Is 
If you do not feel well, do not hesitate to fall back. I can keep exploring. Alluring armor. Fine, I'm I'm happy that you won. What is alluring armor? What we'll see now. We need to stop with those battle panties. Good day. Wait, Very what did well. I miss? <laughs> Barnaby, may I have a moment of your time? Tattoos appears to have some special little guests today. What are your treat for you? Should your curiosity be the best of you, it may be best to pay this guest a visit. Perhaps more of those mysterious growing fragments are in your future. 154 and 116 actually let's do it now because i'll forget it tomorrow um no no fuck i think it means we're gonna find more cats or maybe it's not gonna be cats let's do it quickly Because we really need those fragments. Keep your eyes peeled. Shadow detected nearby. Head him hard back. To go first. Two enemies. You can take them. Hurry, so knock one down. I mean, I think we could just not. Fight them since it looks like they want to run away from us. I'll take the money. Badger needs money. We beat them to a pulp, as they say. As they say. Hey, have you ever been to a club? Isn't it kind of scary to walk into one? Yes, people are just standing there menacingly. Okay, this thing we will fight. Great. I'd like to take a romantic bike ride to school with someone someday. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about, hey, Yukari. Hey. You're Yukari, you're not contributing to the conversation, I must say. Kill this fucker. This seems a bit on the annoying side. Oh fuck. Weak to ice. You can take them. I'm still setting up. It'll take a little more time. You have a skill that can hit a weakness. Come I'll go with. I'm so. Well, the enemy is. Let's do it. I like silver coins. What's happening? Sonata's a nice confused. Watch out! Focus! You don't think for blood as you creep in this should help. Um thanks, I guess. Well, 
I just want to find the cats. I think it's cats. Last time it was cats. Uh, I'll take the money. Organize their moves. Shadow up ahead. You taking it out? No, I need to find the one that gives me the money. A shadow. Hey, there's a treasure chest. Where is the one that will make me rich eventually? Ooh, I found it. Enemy spotted. Let's take him down. Get back, you son of a bitch! Stairs located. No, back! Head oh, on the right. It'd be great if we can defeat him. Amen. Do not make contact. What do I to do? God damn it. Please don't run away from me. Please don't run away from me. Please don't run away from me. Not bad. Thank you. This is a scary looking face. Now then, resuming exploration. <gasps> cat! It's the cat! So I guess after you finish feeding the cats, okay. they can actually start appearing in Tartarus. That's kind of cool. Shadow sighted. Initializing combat mode. Apparently. Shadow detected nearby. Leader, I detect. There is a cat that looks like it might claw me. What? Huh? There is a kitty in a place like this. Anyways, we need to protect it. Please come back to the entrance immediately. Yes. Understood. Okay, we got we got cat number one. Five wild things. Nice. Welcome back. Okay, and we have another one in 168. Oh god, I hate this um. so much. Uh, so I guess we need to go from 161 to 168. We are running, 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 running up the stairs. No, we're going to ignore Monad. I just want to find the kids. Take care to conserve your strength for the return trip. Don't push yourself. Get Minotaurs. Yes. Always yes. Oh, this is totally the best card we could have found. We are going to ignore them on that for now. It's one of those chests. Tell me what to do. <gasps> We're doing it so gracefully. The situation is favorable. It'd be great if we can defeat it. I'll get it. 
I like the little thunk it does. Oh no! <laughs> Not bad. What is optimal? Floors, I think, and we're even higher. No, we are saving our fragments. It's not worth it. It's not worth it in the long run. Nah. -uh. We could head back. No. It's your call. No, we can. I need to find the cat, cause I know I'll forget it. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Oh, even better. Blue! Um, it looks a Empowering Sutra. Yeah, it's the Sutra that goes, yes, girl! Hey, there's a treasure chest! One of those chests. Oh, stairs! Now, what do we run into next? I don't know. We are looking for cat. This would be a fight worth our while. No, ignore. Fukasan, you are familiar with machinery, yes? I bet they have the deepest conversations. There's a shadow! But I want to find the cat. Oh, we go up those... Who knew that cats would be the best mechanic of Persona? Morgana clearly isn't. Which is a shame because Morgana is so cute. But he's such a dick. Oh my god. Shadow sighted. Initializing combat mode. Stairs located. All clear to proceed. A shadow! A one way teleporter is nearby. Ooh. Will you return to the entrance? No, cat. Do you believe in fortune telling? No, cat. Oh, funny. A staircase. Cat. Oh, he's so cute! He looks like your skit! Uh, okay. Oh, there's a treasure chest! By the way, I am very adept. I bet it was very deep thing to say, I guess. I I bet my, my life on it. Treasure chest identified. Move out of my way! Uh, no weaknesses, and you would be done there. Hmm. I wish it would have done the tooth sound. I just think it could have been funny. Where is the cat? There's a shadow. Recommended course of action, identifying the contents of that treasure chest. Where is the cat? 
Like, why do I? Why would I want to save people if I can save the cats? The cats are way better than the people. Shadow up ahead. Taking it out. There you are. What? Yes. Thank you, cat. Welcome back. Good day. I just Are you accepting a request? I, I love the idea of them being so confused. Very well. About the cat. Anyways, I think we'll call it a stream here. Tomorrow we will be we'll we'll properly go through Tartarus. And we'll slowly start finishing the social links. And I guess maybe if not this week, maybe next week we'll finish Persona 3 Re Reload until the DLC comes out. And when the DLC comes out, we're gonna cry even harder. Let's see, how many people are we? Huh. So I guess we'll just end it here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for talking. Thank you for being amazing. I am hungry. Ooh, I'm hungry. I don't know what I'm hungry for, but I'm hungry. Mm. Bye-bye.